Here's a topic on the ACT that you might have not learned in high school. What is this matrix product? In order to multiply two matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix, which is 2 in this case, has to be the same number as the number of rows in the second matrix, which is also 2 in this case. Therefore, this property is satisfied for both of these matrices. Now, we're going to begin multiplying rows in the first matrix by columns in the second matrix. So first, we're going to have 3 times w, which is 3w. And then, we're going to add 5 times y, which is 5y. So 3w plus 5y is going to be the first entry in the product. Then, we're going to have 3 times x, which is 3x. And then, we're going to add 5 times z, which is 5z. Therefore, 3x plus 5z is the second entry in the first row in the product. Now, we're going to move on to the second row. So first, we're going to multiply 6 times w, which is 6w. And we're going to add 8 times y, which is 8y. Then, we're going to move on to the second entry in the second row by first multiplying 6 by x to get 6x. And then, we're going to add 8 times z, which is 8z. This result turns out to be the matrix product, which is j, so j is the correct answer.